Welcome back to my den. I'm Tobin. Let's talk about blade disposal. If you're a wet shaver like me, you have lots of disposable blades. Real briefly, let me share with you what I typically do. In the bathroom, in my drawer, I keep this old Tic Tac container. Now this is like one of the jumbo size Tic Tac containers. This is a regular size Tic Tac container. So this is kind of like a two in one. You could use one of these. But what I do, I'm going to show you a couple of other ways, but first I want to show you how I actually do it day in and day out. So I fill this guy up, right? And then when it gets about to the fullness that it is, I've already um, loosened the tape. So I just pop the top off. I'll just show you real briefly. And then we'll take all the blades that are in there, put it inside here, put the lid back on, and then I'll tape it shut and I throw it in the garbage can. Here where I live in Oregon, there's no recycling program um, for those. Several different companies have come up with different ways for them. Gillette, 100 years ago, had these blade banks. Leaf Shave, the company that makes the thorn and the twig. When they sent me the twig, they also sent me this disposable blade bank. You just slide them in here. I'll be putting them right up here. Remember at Leaf, if you use my code Tobin, you'll save 10% at checkout. So while this is $4, if you use my code, it'd be $3 and 60 cents. I'll earn nothing. Pete at Hendrix Classics and Co. He sent me these. These are a couple of dollars. What I act, I do use this, but what I use it for is I keep some extra blades in here, um, different various, various blades from different manufacturers that I'll put into a razor to measure blade gap and stuff like that and blade exposure. So these are just blades that I use time and time again. Um, PAA has a really cool way of doing it. I'll put that right there and I'll include a link to, to show you. He does a, like take like a chicken broth can and then you'd puncture a couple holes into it, drain out your chicken broth and then put the blades inside of that. And you can actually get a um, label that he sells and tape it or glue it to it. I've seen people use old shave tubs and you could, you know, either put a hole in the top of it or just put it inside. Anything and everything, you know, around the house would work. Beef, uh, bouillon cubes. Just make sure you don't take your wife's cubes. Spices. Um, really cool thing that's in one of the episodes of I'd rather be shaving. If I can find it, I'll include it in the description. This is a got a couple more things in front of me that I do use for different things. Altoid container. This is one of the small ones. The big ones will work too, of course. Mustache wax. I used to use this for blades until I got the thing from Pete Hendrix Classics. These razor blades, if you take them and you put them in water over the course of a few months to a year, they'll actually dissolve. There's really no wrong way or right way to dispose of your used DE blades or even single edge blades as long as you're doing it safely you know you don't want to cut yourself or your wife or your kid when they're taking out the garbage just by tossing them in the garbage so you know getting them inside of something that offers a little bit of protection I think is a great idea so back to the water principle right if you put it in water it will dissolve over time so something that I started practicing and working with is you just take a DE blade like this one. This is a old Gillette silver blue. You got to work it a few times. Is that getting it on camera? Takes a little bit of work. Careful not to cut yourself. This is a razor blade. Well, now that it's been on the floor, I don't want to put it back in my mouth. I'll just leave it down there for right now. Now I better pick it up. I don't want to step on it. That's way underneath the dresser. To heck with it. I'm Tobin. Huh? Presto. It's gone. Just like that. No way I'm putting that thing back in my mouth. It's little big things like not cutting yourself on razor blades and not getting other people's cut with proper disposal. Safety first, kids. 
Thanks for joining me. How do you dispose of your razor blades? If you guys have a different way than what I showed here, please put it in the comments below. My hope is to help new wet shavers. Don't ever put a razor blade in your mouth. Until next time, be safe. And happy Halloween.